If you want to use these, you have to know what to do. Do you know how to use it? For example, what is this tube for? Don't be afraid to take hazmat readings. It's not as bad as he says. Try this. Do you know what this is? This is the Draeger measurement strategy. You should always have it with you, like your equipment. With this, Draeger gives you a tool that really helps you in the field. Shall we try this? OK, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to describe to you this scenario. And you'll get an extra measuring team. And now, let's practice how to measure fires. Do you have your Draeger measurement strategy? OK then, let's do some recon. And just write this down. Great, right? Now you have the whole picture in one go, all on one page. And what is it? Exactly, fire. It's easy to see. So now, pick up the paper. Do you know toxic gases you should be measuring now? No problem. Everything is already prepared in the measuring procedure for fires. Just go through them one by one. Now comes the measurement. We do it with the multi-gas detector and the simultaneous test for fire smoke. The two guys from the measuring team will do it for you and bring you the tubes now. OK, enter the values of the tubes. Now you're back in the picture. Now you know which substances are present in the fire smoke and you can use your tubes to check specifically where the fire smoke is spreading to. So, was that hard? You see? So, you know which hazardous substance has leaked and you want to measure the concentration. Now, I assume that you are familiar with cross sensitivities, measuring ranges, limit values, reciprocating speeds, etc, etc. Of course you know these guidelines. Well, what do I measure with this? You're still having doubts? Okay, let's run through a scenario one more time. Put away your books and grab the Draeger measurement strategy. And now I'll create your scenario. So, you're in a plant with an ammonia refrigeration unit. And there may be some leakage. Now, I want you to determine if there is any danger of explosion and what the ammonia concentration is. But where to begin? Right, reconnaissance, you're quick. Exactly, you know the substance that's supposed to be leaking. You enter it here and anything else you notice while exploring. With ammonia, what you smell may also play a role. Great! All filled out. You got the big picture. Since you know what kind of spillage could have occurred here, get the right tube and measuring device. Here we go! Ah, it's not so easy choosing the right measuring technique for your substance, is it? The sheet called Measurement Procedure for Known Hazardous Substances does not help you with selection, but only with documenting the measurement results. But take a look at the Substance Information chapter. Here you'll find a lot of useful information about your substance. For example, the appropriate measurement technology with tubes and chips, or whether your X-measuring device can measure the substance. But beware! Did you know that X sensors react differently to different substances and that you have to convert the measurement results? Don't worry. You can also just look that up in the substance information. Look down there. And now we'll feed the results back into your Draeger measurement strategy. 
Oh yes, and Draeger Chemical Protection Suit's chemical resistance is also included. That way the measuring team is always safe. If you want to detect unknown contaminants, you should not ignore these chemical fundamentals. So, now let's see if you understand all this. Explain this phenomenon. Granted, measuring unknown hazardous substances is definitely not easy, but your Drago measurement strategy will help you here too. Shall we practice? Okay, here's your scenario. And the two from the measurement team. Hmm, where do we start? Right, with reconnaissance. Fill these out. Now we have the overview. Look, your Draeger measurement strategy includes instructions for unknown hazardous substances. Read this first. You'll know what to do next time you're on a call. Here we go with sheet A. Don't worry, your Draeger measurement strategy folder can take a beating. By the way, you can also take the measurement instructions from the folder and use them on a clipboard, for example. Let's get started and we'll follow the template exactly. The procedure is easy to explain. For example, do you see liquids? Yes. OK, then dip the universal indicator paper into the liquid. Well, I mean the guys in the protective suits. If it turns orange or red and the pH is less than 7, turn to sheet B. If the indicator paper is yellow-green or blue-purple, turn to sheet C. Let's do that. Here are your next set of measurement instructions. And here again, the result and the measurement strategy lead to the next point. In our case, sheet D. Moving on, today is measurement day. So now all you have to do is enter your test results. Here you will also get tips for further measurements, for example to exclude any cross sensitivities with the tubes or to measure again with a different measuring device. And use this sheet to evaluate your measurement results. Well, got it? You see, you don't have to have studied chemistry to measure hazardous substances. And you don't need him either. And here's the best part. The Draeger measurement strategy is constantly updated and you can download it free of charge. Just click here. Bye-bye.